I answer him and I say that that I suppose that I am in going um, going eh, según las clases que estamos recibiendo que voy al día I'm like doing the homeworks daily eh, eh, de, dependiendo de la clase que vamos viendo yo le puse eso pero no me contestó nada yes you are right we need pero, to bueno. complete the exercises let's see what the teacher says I think she's already online Please tell yes, I am. <laughs> I was like, ah. I was listening Spanish to Spanish questions. Of... Like, uh, <laughs> I, I don't have. <laughs> you know what? What? Uh, what happened? Today we, gonna... receive, we, mm -hmm. today we receive a message mm -hmm. uh, from the, the English class. Well, uh -huh. uh, Administration that, that, yeah. Yeah, that, that, that we didn't have. A complete. Uh, uh, let me let me check. Let, complete the the exercises, mm -hmm. and 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 I say that I'm going uh, al día. How you say daily, <laughs> daily, daily. I'm mm -hmm. I'm I'm doing daily. Uh, uh, según las clases, según the, the, the class we receive. It mm -hmm. depends on the glasses, uh -huh. yes, and, I and, I, and I didn't have a, a response about it. Okay. But, but I'm going to put more attention and, and, and advance more. Yeah, that will be um, awesome. Right now you can complete the two, the two sections. You can do it. I have one session complete. Oh, that's good. And the second one, I'm going in the third exercise. Mm. I think. Okay, got it. Yeah, Two because most of the time, since we have like a specific day that we are finished, right? The model. What they said is that they don't they don't want like you to hurry, right? Don't worry about that. But what they want is to motivate you to really uh, work more in the platform. Yeah, to try, to try to do your exercises as better as you can, as fast as you can, because um, basically uh, we only have four weeks. And this week you, you should uh, also like do a little bit of section three, which is we're about to finish, we do it to start. So don't worry about that. So basically okay. for um, tomorrow, you will be able to do all the sections se second. Yep. And also you will be able to start section three, which is basically what they want is that you, you try to do the best that you can. Okay. Because we have like a time limit for you to like finish the platform exercises and uh, that they must be like before the, they ask you for the papers for the next model. So basically that is for administrative purposes that they ask you to do that. Okay. Yeah, you can, you can do it. You can do it because uh, there are like some videos that you can watch on the platform that it will help you like uh, to give more information about it and to try to advance in the exercises. But um, don't worry because you try to do your best, right? And if for some reason you still have doubts, that's why I'm here. For example, I know that you will have doubts, for example, in uh, <laughs> what we're going to see today, comparisons, right? We're going to see the comparisons today. And those little words, have you heard about it? More than, less than, better than, as, as, etc. Okay, those we can use it in a myriad different ways. We can use it as a... Uh, with adjectives, we can use it with nouns, we can use it with verbs, etc. So it could be a little bit complicated, but don't worry. As you know, grammar, you love it with me. I will make it as simple as possible for you. Okay, because it's easy peasy queasy. But right now, try to watch the videos, try to understand what the teacher is trying to explain on the platform. And even though we have not touched that topic right now, you will be able to progress in the exercises. Okay. And if you still have doubts or teacher, I'll do this one like a thousand times and always I got it wrong. 
like something happens to Mario, right? I think I remember that. So when we have the class, we will be able to solvent all your doubts. And also if you said, teacher, I, no, I cannot this exercise. We will be able to have like a 10 or 15 minutes of the class so we can review it together and we can make it together, okay? Uh -huh. So do I solve your doubts, Kalena and Mr. Luis Rene? <laughs> yes, thank you. <laughs> You're more than welcome. They were like, I, 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 I was paying attention to what you were talking about. Like, and when it appears, and, ah, the teacher. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> no, but that's okay. That's okay. Don't worry. I'm not going to say mm, what you were talking about, guys. No, that's okay. Okay, thank you. No, but thank you so much for, for asking those questions because we were able to clarify it, okay? But uh, yes, try to um, um, put your extra effort and those messages are, are not to like make you feel bad. No, those messages are to encourage you to continue working more in the platform, okay? So don't worry, don't get panicked like, no. <laughs> because that, what they wanted that you like continue working on that and do your best. I'm checking your progress, okay guys? I'm checking your progress, each of you. Hey, I have a, you know what? I ha oh my God, this is a miracle, guys, because we have Mr. Stanley that is out of the box right now. He's not, he's not, he's, he's wrong. He's not like doing some like music stuff. I think he's on the roof or I think he's another play, maybe in Monte Plaza. I don't know. <laughs> that might be. Um, my, or, my or, hello, hello. Hello, Bravo, hello. hello. Oh, no, um, my bro my hello my oh, brother my is playing video games in my room so oh. I cannot be there because he is speaking with him friends. Ah okay got it. So you are uh in another place of your house, right? I'm right now in the um how do you say um, Paté de Trastel? Paté ah, de how you say that? How you say that in in English? No. Huh? Backyard. Yes, backyard. Backyard, exactly. Backyard. Uh huh. Remember front yard and backyard. Hey, by the way, he's talking front about that back, yeah. that that um word that you're asking, Stanley. Have you ever seen or heard or watched about those little cartoons that name backyardigans? Yes. Yeah. Okay. And the the reason why. I, uh, oh my God! Excuse me. Oh yes, you're a baby. I forgot about that. <laughs> <laughs> you're the second no. I mean for me yes because you're younger you're 21 right oh I'm appreciate yeah in 21 and 30 something no way that's a, such, a, such a big difference my man yeah <laughs> that's why for me as I'm you're a baby because exactly you're like we have more than 10 years of difference that's why yes. but what I what I asking you about have you watched uh, Bajardigan's because uh, that is like an example of a question that you ask for. Uh, do you know what bajardigans are? Yeah. How? Yes. Why they it's call bajardigans? It's a discovery. It's a di oh, Tyrone, Pablo, Unique, and Austin. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Those are the names. But uh, what am I asking is if you know what is the meaning of the word bajardigan? Why they call the cartoon like that way? Uh, Why? I, Any ideas? I think that they are, as you say, backyard. No, the, the word were, backyard guns. What does it mean? Backyard. Yeah, but backyard is the, because is the, they were in the back in the in backyard. the backyard all the time playing. Aha, uh -huh, that is one thing. Yes, but there's another thing. That is part yeah. of that, Mario. Yeah, that's good. You know what they name backyardigans? Because it's the so word, uh huh. Yes, Mr. Hernandez, go ahead. We we'll listen to you. I'm not sure about that, but I have heard before that it's something related with the imagination, right? A person who loves using imagination. No. Not really. Yeah. Well, yes. Of course, they always use the imagination, right? It's yeah. To like do all their stuffs. No, but the word, guys, backyardigans. Basically, that's the way we called your childhood friends that comes to your house and play with you on the backyard. Those are backyardigans. 
the word backyard again is your friends, your childhood friends that you remember that all of us have a childhood friends, right? To arise to your house and start playing with you, whatever place, right? With cars, with dolls, I don't know, using your imagination, dancing, singing, whatever, right? Because you know the kids, we have a lot of energy, right? So the word backyard are your friends that come to your house and play with you when you were a kid. Those are your backyard But we didn't have our backyards. <laughs> well, of course, of course. That so. depends on the house, right? Of course. And you know what I mean. <laughs> Marito. <laughs> Shame on you. <laughs> now, my now daughter. You, yes. My daughter loves Ladybug. Ladybug? Okay. Oh yeah, I remember that. Those are totally different, right? You know, I I I I can watch cartoons someday, okay? Don't worry. I'm I'm still on the updated information about that. And then I know Ladybug is the one that is where like um some red things here, right? Is is they are red? black they are black they are black uh, some uh, black spots black, black, black glasses or uh -huh. something like that. Mm -hmm. They they are Red, a black mask, and uh, in red color, like right? uh -huh. the red suit, the red suit, the ah, okay, yeah. black mask black and, and red black suit. Mask. Oh, okay, got it. Yeah, it was discovery, right? Discovery one, no, discovery kids, yes, exactly. Yeah. Thank you, Kalena. Yeah. <laughs> there is a pattern of dots, in, I don't know, in the red, in the red suit. Okay, <laughs> she watched Ladybug uh, in Netflix. Met oh okay okay but I think I have seen her in this discovery I think discovery kids I think so okay yeah discovery channel <laughs> okay so Stanley is it new for you that word but Jardigan yeah it is so, so you see now you know is you're increase your vocabulary right back yeah. Jardigan so there is yeah, the, no. there was a reason why they named that theory back Jardigan and if you see that, uh, basically they were friends, right? They were friends and having fun and wow. using their imagination at somebody's uh, house, right? And they played because they were yes. kids. Mm -hmm. And also, and also, uh, now what I started to to, to think that, um, back and um, it had sense because they were those friends that you had from your childhood. Exactly. And you start to remember those those friends. So mm -hmm. I. And when I was a child, I remember, and I can say, hey, I had a daughter of Bajordi no? Really? Oh, yes. that's amazing. Oh, in the 1980s. No, oh, 80 something, right? No, you are for 90s, right? Um, like, no, 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 21. No, of course, I know that you're in, uh, 21 years, but when you were born? 99. 90 what? 99. 1999? So you're about to get 22. Ah, yes. okay, okay. Oh, okay, of course. Oh my good goodness. 22 guys. Oof. He's getting older. That's great. <laughs> yeah, but it's still you're a baby. <laughs> okay, very good. <laughs> right. Yeah, yeah. So you should be feel happy because you're still young, my man. Yes. Congratulations. Wait until you get 30 and you will let me know. Yeah. <laughs> this, is, this is what happens when I am out of my room. There is uh -huh. my mother and she has been looking at me and I like, like what is he doing? Ah. Hi mom. Hey, what's what up, is mom? He doing? Why is he speaking so weird? So weird. Oh, is weird. he's is he's doing like Shakespeare thing? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> like, to be or not to be, that's the question. To speak or not to speak English, that's the question. All righty, very good. Thank you so much for sharing, Stanley. Okay, le, uh, we have also Paquito here, Carito, Carlos Rodriguez, Mr. Sergio, Mr. Hernandez, um, Irina. Good evening. Mar good evening, Paquito, Maria Ernestina, Alex. Yes, we have Alex also. All righty, Irina, I love your necklace. Thank you. Oh teacher. my God, it's a beautiful. I love the contrast between your blouse and the neck and the necklace, and uh, also the color. This is aqua, right? Oh uh, yeah, it's kind of green, teacher. Well, well, right. Well, really? Oh my God, teacher yeah, needs sunglasses, green. right? <laughs> well, right. Well, I yeah, I know it's green, it's green, but for me it looks more like aqua. Okay. Uh, <laughs> maybe you. like, maybe like this color, right? Uh, no, it's no. It's 
is maybe like this. Can, can you see it? Yeah, but that one looks more like uh, darker for me. I think it's because of the lights, maybe? The lights? Yeah. Yeah. I think it's for the lights. Mm -hmm. I like it. You see, Ernestina, you turn it on the camera. Yeah, very good. I turn it on the camera today because I am uh, well dressed. <laughs> I'm just arriving for my job and I, and I say I'm going to see ah, oh, Okay, so now I understood, right? Oh, when, yes. when everybody turned on cameras because they feel like they're in disaster, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's okay. But don't worry, everybody's pretty with or without makeup, okay? You. <laughs> yeah, of course. Of course, we, of course, right, Kalena? We are pretty, of course. And you see, of course, 100%. Don't ask the guys, okay? Mm -mm. <laughs> all right okay guys so do me a favor today we're going to like use information about what we have seen yesterday but at the same time guys we're going to learn a, a new topic we're going to learn how to make comparisons in the right way i know that is part of the platform right and maybe you got it confused so i'm gonna try to do the best that i can to uh, solve your doubts and to try to explain it to you it's really easy peasy queasy you will know um we're going to divide this comparison class in two first of all we're going to double check about adjectives and nouns how we can use comparisons and adjectives as a nouns with nouns and adjectives. And the second class, which is gonna to be tomorrow, that will be with the rest, which in this case, we're going to double check how we can do uh, compare uh, comparisons with verbs, but also with past participles, okay? That is totally different. That will be a little bit harder, but it's not complicated. But before we continue, uh, uh, um, Comparisons. What is exactly the idea that you have in your mind when you listen to the word comparisons? What came up to your mind? Any ideas? Please, one of the time. Don't complicate your life. I only need one person who answers. Yes, only one. Uh, uh, when uh -huh, when something so we... is different uh, than another thing. Mm -hmm. Very good. But let me ask you. Uh, the <laughs> opposite. The opposite. Very opposite. good. And, but let me ask you, um, could I compare a glass of water with a cell phone? Yes. Could I do that? Yes. Are you no. sure? If we, no. 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 It depends, no. It depends on what, Stanley? For example, um, uh, a grace, uh, uh -huh. a grace base uh -huh. is useless. It's more, it's more useless than a cell phone. Ah. If you are giving an Aha, uh -huh. I got, I got your point of view. But basically, uh, that would not be totally wrong and not totally right, because most of the time, Stanley, what we need when we compare things, we need to compare things that are on the same level. Mm -hmm. yes. Because we cannot say that this one is better than this one if it's totally different. For example, I cannot compare cats with a car. I cannot compare an elephant with a pillow. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I gotta compare. Hi, Kike. I gotta compare things, things that are in the same page equals. For example, that mm -hmm. right now, guys, I'm going to teach you how to do it because we will continue this. This section is talking about careers. That we have talking about careers, right? Remember personality types and all the stuff. So we need to learn how to use comparisons as an adjective, as a noun, to talk about the differences, the advantages and the disadvantages, the pros and the opposites of uh, between one or another career. Okay. For example, not only when we're giving advice, hey, you should study these, or you will be, uh, you will be better with this one. No, no, no. It's because all, also when we are going to decide something, we need to like make a contrast. So that's why it is really important to learn how to do it and to do it right. Okay. So now that we already understood about comparisons, let me ask you something. Oh my God, who's connecting? Jimmy Martinez. All right. Thank you, Jimmy. Hello, how are you, sir? <laughs> All righty. So let me ask you something. Uh, talking about nouns and adjectives. Okay, let's make a refresh because I just want to know, guys, if you're clarified or if you have an idea of examples of uh, a noun. 
Anybody can give me an example of a noun? Word, a word of a noun. An example? Um, you? Glass. Car. Just word, just a word. Car. You? Car? Mm hmm. Watch. Uh, watch. Yeah, glass. Mm -hmm. Hour. Hour, like hour, right? Like hour, click, click, click. Mm -hmm. No, like hour is different. Mm -hmm. All right. What else? Any other example of a noun? Those animals. Those animals. Very good. Excellent. Anything related to a theme, right? A place, right? Okay. A person. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Very good. Now, do me a favor. Since we already know that the adjectives describe the nouns, yes, it is or no? Yeah. Okay. Yes. So let, let me ask you. Can somebody give me an example of an adjective? Intelligent. Intelligent. What else? Pretty. Pretty. Very good. Smart. Smart. Tall. Tall. Okay. Ugly. Ugly. Oh, come on. Bored. Adjectives. <laughs> uh, wh what? <laughs> Bored. Bored. All right. Exciting. Exciting. Fascinating. Mm -hmm. Old. Interesting. Mm -hmm. Dangerous. Like Michael Jackson song, right? Dangerous. Yeah, okay, cool. Mm -hmm. No, it was not me. It was a dog. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So you see, guys, we, okay, now at least I have an idea that you already know or you have a um, knowledge about words that are adjectives and words that are nouns. So it's really good for me. Okay. Awesome. So now let me teach you what will be the way that we can use them as a comparison. You ready? <laughs> but before that, um, let's introduce this topic, guys, with listening part. I, I, I'm going to work hard with you with listening, okay? Listening, listening, and listening, yes. It's going to be really and hard. listening. Exactly, Kike, and listening. Yes, you're right about that. Don't fall asleep, Marito. <laughs> no, be, right now, guys, what I want you to focus on because we're, we're working on listening for a specific details, right? So what I want you to work on or to focus on is like pay attention to any phrase of any word that uh, uh, the guys are using to compare something, okay? Anything that sounds for you that, ah, oh, there's comparing this and that. That's what I need, All that, only that. Don't focus on the entire dialogue. No, I just need that you can pay attention if you listen, for example, more than, less than, as, as, interesting, etc. Okay, that's what I want. Mm -hmm. Focus on the better, <clears throat> worse, then the adjective, and then the word then, which is basically, that's the one that we use to compare two things. All right, so let me just a couple of minutes. Let me try to pull it up. There you go, okay. And I will share right now my screen with you. There you go. <laughs> yes, very well me. Okay, go Page go. 11, exercise seven, conversation. You get a great tan. Part A, listen and practice. Guess what? I found a summer job. That's great. Anything interesting? Yes, working at an amusement park. Wow, that sounds fantastic. So, have you found anything? Nothing yet, but I have a couple of leads. One is working as an intern for a record company, mostly answering phones. Or I can get a landscaping job again. Being an intern sounds more interesting than landscaping. You'd have better hours, and it's probably not as much work. Yeah. But a landscaper earns more than an intern, and you get a great tan. Uh-huh. Okay, I listen two adjectives, two comparisons as a noun and as an adjective. The, could you identify those? I need a phrase. Uh -huh. No, that is an adjective. But uh -huh. I need I need that com but, uh -huh. but it's good, Kike. I need that com that complete sentence. He says that uh being intern is more interesting than landscaping. Very good. That's one. And what is the other one? Very good, Carito. Somebody's swearing, right? Alex, don't sweat. That's like, whew. 
Aha. Uh -huh. Would you want to do it one more time? Yes. 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 I'm big. I'm nice, but I'm I'm not supposed to to put it one more time. But I will do it because of you. Okay. Please, now. Uh, okay, Arena. Now that you already identified the first one that Carito said, now I want you guys to focus on the second one. That is the one that I want you to to pay attention for. Okay. So let me just a couple of minutes. Let me do it again. And for being a nice teacher, I'm going to play it again. Page 11, exercise 7, conversation. You get a great tan. Part A, listen and practice. Guess what? I found a summer job. That's great. Anything interesting? Yes, working at an amusement park. Wow, that sounds fantastic. So, have you found anything? Nothing yet, but I have a couple of leads. One is working as an intern for a record company, mostly answering phones. Or I can get a landscaping job again. Being an intern sounds more interesting than landscaping. You'd have better hours, and it's probably not as much work. Yeah, but a landscaper earns more than an intern. And you get a great tan. Uh-huh. What is exactly the second one that you mentioned, it was mentioned? Landscaping earns more than an intern. Very good. Oh my God. Only Carito listen. Ha ha. Everybody's but, quiet. I don't know why. But she said, uh, she said uh, the intern is more interesting than. Aha. Uh -huh. uh -huh. I, mean, I know. I... Inter record company is better than a landscaping. She said. Exactly. Very good. Very good. Uh -huh. You see, you're working on details. Maybe there are some um, dialogue that could be a little bit harder, right? Than the other ones. Depends on their accent, of the, of the speedness of what they speak. Okay. Very good. Interesting. So basically, guys, they said something more than, right? More interesting than. Okay. Cool. So we already have... Um, identify that so let's get into deeply to study that okay let me just a couple of minutes let me share right now my screen with you all righty for the beginning let me check volunteer <laughs> let me read it. oh my god ernestina I, I, we have a new classmate guys a new student mr doggy all righty very good Okay, who wants to participate in reading? Thank you so much, uh, Irina. Go ahead. What's the topic for today's class? Uh, comparisons with adjectives and nouns. Very good. As I said, guys, we're going to watch also comparisons as a verbs and as a participle or with participles. But today, we're going to focus on this two things. We're going to focus on how we can use it as a nouns or with nouns and how we can use it with adjectives. First of all, what we're talking about, guys, uh, there are some things that we need to like mention just to have a refresh mind. Uh, Work-related adjectives. Uh, who can help me read it? Uh, 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 Marito, re help me read the, the, the first line, please. Okay, uh, work-related adjectives. Mm -hmm. Work-related adjectives. Stressful, fantastic, uh, Fast, fascinating, mm -hmm. difficult, easy, interesting, and dangerous. Very good, thank you. Can I have this, the second one read it? Uh, Kike. Uh, work related to the nouns. Mm -hmm. Always, education, work. Um, and Is a what? noun. And very it's good. Noun. So work related nouns and work related adjectives. Very good, guys. Okay, so let's move on. Let me share right now with you this one. Can okay. I ask a question? No. <laughs> yes. All Go right. ahead. Who said that? Me. Who Luis. Me? Ah, Luis. Thank you, Luis. Uh, you said that you said uh, for being a nice teacher, I'm going to play it again. Mm -hmm. So uh, in this case, uh, for being, it's a gerund, right? Yeah. So uh, is being a nice teacher is uh, is some subject or an object or, or what function? Ah, it it's another it's another function. 
because yesterday we saw a subject and also we saw it um, as a, what else? Object, right? Yes. So what do you think will be? Uh, Neither I or. I think it would be our object. Uh-huh. Because for being a nice teacher, you, the subject, will play it again. Uh-huh, exactly. So, but they cut uh, the first part. Every every time we use a preposition preposition before a verb, we should change it to ing to gerund. For example, instead of working as a teacher, I would prefer working as a police, for example. Mm -hmm. Yes, you can say it like that way. Yeah. All right. Thanks a lot. You're more than welcome, sir. Okay, let's go back to business. Okay, let me check it out. Let me go back. Okay, let me share right now with you the screen. All righty, can you see it, guys? Yep. Yes. Okay, cool. Okay, focus on this one. The first one that I want you to focus on is going to be the comparison with adjectives. All right, we have more or less. Okay, we, we also have uh, the superlative harder and also we have not as us okay that's it. guys and also this is really important because we always when we have the superlative in this case er we're going to use dan and when we have more and less we're going to use dan as well this one guys is going to be the word in between in between the adjective in between the comparison with the adjective and the other word. Let me give you an example for you to have like better clarification of this. Let me check something. There you go. Let me put the first example. Okay, I'm gonna use um more, more for example. But let's talk about um any profession. Let's pick one profession. Who can give me a profession? Uh, maybe. Lawyer, could be engineer. I knew it. I don't know why, but I knew it for sure. Okay, so you can say also, guys. If you use an engineer, you can use you can say it in many ways. But let's try to use what we have learned yesterday, right? Let's talk about gerunds, okay? Let's use gerunds. Being an engineer, right? Hey, let me ask you: Am I writing correctly, engineer? Yes or no? No. Okay. Uh -huh. I knew it. Can somebody spell it for me? Just practice the spelling. Uh huh. E N. G. No, E N. Okay. And then after E N. G. G. I. 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 I N. N. E. O e. O e. E. Uh huh. R. 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 Like that, like a Romeo. Okay. Being an engineer is. You see, is, because I'm using the is, right? Remember, third person. Is what? Is what, guys? Uh-huh. Uh, no, well, you can say that. Okay, more let's. In, more interesting. Aha, uh -huh. very good. Okay, so you said being an engineer, remember, engineer is, we could use more. Let's use more. More difficult, you said, right? Typical with double, or with double, or more interesting. Okay, more interesting. Interesting than what? What other profession? Don't know. Than a farmer? Interior designer. Architect. A plumber? No, no, no. The architect, uh -huh. no, it's not more interesting. Than a plumber, okay? A plumber. Than a plumber. Than a play soccer. Okay, like that. No, the, is, is he is he right? How I, how I wrote plumber? No, that's P. Uh huh. No, that's what I was asking you. Is it right or the, no? The first is plum is with P, no? It's with P. It's P. It's with P. Yes. So it's plumber, plumber or plumber? Plumber, it's right? Plum, plumber. Uh huh. Plumber. That's what I was asking you. Huh? I need your help because sometimes I forgot how to say it. Uh huh. I teacher, you forgot. Uh-huh. So you said being a what an engineer, you said, right? 
Engineer. Yeah. Uh -huh. Engineer. It's more it's interesting more than being a plumber. Interesting than being a plumber. Is it right? No? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay, guys, take a look. You see, I have used the gerunds. Of course, I can set it in a different way, okay? But I'm just in gerund right now because I want you to identify that also we can use what we have learned so far. You see, everything that we learn is like connected. So that's why I decided to do like that. So being an engineer, you see, it's more interesting than a plumber. Let's analyze that sentence, okay? Let's analyze it together, okay? Okay, guys, let's analyze it. Let me go back. Uh -huh. No, I'm not gonna use this. Okay, where is the comparison in this sentence? Where is it? Uh-huh, where is the comparison, guys? More interesting than. More, exactly, more, in, more than. The comparison uh, in this case, let me double check something really quickly. Let me erase this for you to understand much better. All right, there you go. Let me do it. Okay. The comparison in this case is more than. Okay, that's the comparison part. So we have it here. We have more, right? And we have than, is that right? Is that right? Yes. Yes. It's okay. 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 Now, yes. do me a favor. What is the word that is between more and that? What What is it? Interesting. Interesting. Uh huh. Interesting. 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 Yeah, that one. And what is that? An adjective. An yeah. adjective. adjective. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Exactly. So, guys, the adjective always will be between the two parts uh -huh. of the comparison, okay? Always. Yeah. All right. So you can also, we, can, we have used more, but also we can use it in a different way. Let's use less. You can say, being a plumber is less interesting than being an engineer, right? Can we say mm -hmm. that? Okay. Okay, now, who can give me at the same example? Let's use the same example. We're going to uh, continue practicing. I will share with you um, different type of professions, but right now stay with these two, with plumbers and engineer, okay? So do me a favor. Uh, can somebody give me a sentence using is harder than with these two professions? Anybody? Anybody? Me, 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 me. me. Okay, who me, Marito? Yes. Okay, yes, Marito, go ahead. Uh, being an engineer is harder than uh, being a plumber. Very good. Now give me a sentence using is not as hard as um, Luis. Yes. Yes. Uh, playing the drum kit is not as hard as playing the piano. Okay, that's good one. Excellent. Talking about instruments. Now do me a favor. Try to use exactly the same comparison. It's not as hard as um, to compare two professions. In this case, engineer and plumber. Can I have please a sentence? Um, yes. Being an plumber is more not as hard as being an engineer. Very good. Excellent. Excellent job. All right, guys, take a look at something. You see, guys, more, when we use more or less, for example, or we use uh, ER at the end of the, of the verb, or in this case, um, an adjective, sorry, harder. Do you see, guys, that we use um, this thing in particularly? We use done, right? Here in here is that right yes okay but take a look at something when we use as and as there is no need for a then you see there's another type of comparison as as it could be positive or it could be negative as well okay but you gotta be careful with this one 
Because if you're using an adjective, guys, which is the verb that we have to use? Have you noticed that? Can you Bird take a be. look? Bird exactly. Verb to be. Okay, all the time. Verb to be. You see? Verb to be. Comparison with adjectives. Okay? So let me ask you guys. Right now, comparisons with adjectives. So far, so good? Uh, one yes. question about this. Um... Okay, let me go back. Who's? I want to see you, okay? Who, who, who? Okay. Me, Marito. Ah, Marito. Okay, very good, Marito. Okay, in the last, in the last one, in the last we one. have I, 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 as, 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 it's not necessary to use the negative. We no. Can, we can also compare it as positive. If, yes. For example, being a teacher is as hard as being an engineer. Exactly, yes. Yes, you can do it. You can do it. Okay, perfect. You can do it as a, a positive, you can do it as a negative, as long as you know where to put. For example, if you're using a, a negative, and then you use as, don't forget that the adjective will be between as and as, okay? You don't have to put it, for example, right before the, the verb to be in this case. It could be positive or negative, no. Remember guys, the adjective will be always, always between the two parts of the comparison. More interesting than, less interesting than, right? Harder than and isn't as difficult as okay always as long as you know where to put it we're fine is it good yeah okay don't worry you're going to do a lot of practice right now we're learning the harder part which is the grammar thing paquito any questions so far so good i'm 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 thinking uh, I'm, you're thinking oh my goodness that's why it smells like something is burning i'm just kidding no, 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 I, uh, <laughs> I'm a little confusing. Okay, that's why I asked you because I saw your face. Yeah, because I really uh, get confusing about uh, adjectives and nouns. So I have to learn what is oh. an adjective really and what is the noun. Uh -huh. So that way I will be clear with the, yeah, that, that's the, the only thing that I am thinking about it. Uh huh. That, that's the, 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 exercise, the, the example that we put, Paquito. Remember, now could be. I, I know. Uh huh. Right. Yeah. So as long as you identify, ah, that word is an adjective. That word is a noun. Mm -hmm. Now we're uh, good. Mm -hmm. yeah. Basically, That's what what it is is that you have to learn more adjectives, right, and more nouns. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. I will try to see if I can search for more information for all of you guys, so you increase your vocabulary. Okay. 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 Cool. But right now, uh. Uh, so far, so good with the explanation, Paquito? Yes. Okay. That's what I want to hear. So we're good. Okay. Now, guys, let's move forward. Now we can use comparisons with nouns. Okay. Let me go back to what I have prepared for you. And uh, let me share right now with you. There you go. Okay, guys. Now take a look at the nouns. Can you see, guys, that we have different comparisons? Have you noticed that? We have yes. better, right? Better. We have worse. Aha, uh -huh. those are comparisons. Aha, uh -huh. guys, better and, and worse. Aha, well. uh -huh. those are like superlatives, right? You remember that? Yes. No. 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 Okay. Lena. They are comparatives. Yeah, of course, are comparatives. I know that for sure. But do you remember? Let's put a, this one as a friendly reminder. We have good. That's the base one, right? What is the next one? Um. Better. 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 Uh -huh. and the best. Exactly. Best. best. So in this case, guys. Oh, better, right? Better. Better and better best. Better and the best. Okay. All right. So this one is the base form, right? The base adjective. This one is where we are right now. Okay? This one. Which in this case, it is, Marito? Uh, better when, when you compare something. Uh -huh. yeah, and you try to say that that is uh, <laughs> is better. It's better, it, yes. It, Basically, yeah, better. better is is a, is the comparative word of good, right? 
Mm -hmm. And remember that best is the superlative. Is it right? Yeah. Okay. If you're comparing, if you're comparing two things, I think we use better. Exactly. Uh, because, uh -huh, but if we are comparing, for example, someone in a mm -hmm. class, you, mm -hmm. you say the best student, the best uh -huh. student, not, not, not the better student. Exactly. That means when you're comparing three or more things. Exactly. Okay. There you go. And now let me do a friendly reminder as well. Worse, guys. We had the word bad, right? Then we had. Worse, right? Wor worse. And then what is the superlative one? Worst with T. Yeah, exactly. Okay. So in this case, guys, we are here. Let me check. Da -da -da -da. Let me check here. We are here, right? This is the comparative of bad and this is the superlative. Okay. Just to let you know, this is a friendly reminder because you already know that. Am I correct? Hello. Hello. You already know that? Yes or no? Yes. Yes. Okay. Yes, teacher. Okay. Just as a friendly reminder, it's really important, guys, because uh, I, I mentioned that not because I know that you already know that. I mentioned that because the word good and the word bad are like uh, words that are out of the box. That they don't follow the regular rules when you when you making a comparison or when you making superlatives, they have their own way to say it. So that's why I put the emphasis on that because you know that you can say for you you don't say more good than right when you compare something that is not correct. The comparison of good is better, and when you don't, when you said bad, we want to talk about two things that are uh, that are bad or one thing that is bad than the other one you don't said more bad than you said worse than okay that's what i emphasize because i don't want to hear that okay are we okay uh, okay let's teacher. yes marito go ahead do we have uh, more adjectives like these two? Because I, I, I don't remember the others. I just remember these two because they are really special. We use them all the time. Uh -huh. But do we have another uh, adjective that don't follow the rules? Uh, yes, we do. But I'm not going to teach you right now. <laughs> why, why, why I don't? Is be not because I don't know. It's because of, uh, I want you guys to focus on these ones because are the one that we mo uh, use the most. That's why. So as long as you know how to use them, the other ones will be easy peasy quizy. Okay. So don't worry, Marito. I will send you that information. Okay, for everybody, not for only Marito. I don't have preferences. <laughs> All righty, very good. Let's continue. Okay, very good. Are you with me? Okay. Yes or no? Yes. Okay, yes. cool. Cool, yes. that's yes. what I want to hear. All right, guys. And also, of course, we have more, okay? More than, you see that this one is repeating, right? It's repeating. But also, guys, there is something different between as, as, right? As much as. Aha, uh -huh. why? Can somebody give me an example or tell me why he, in adjective is only as, as, and here in nouns is as much as? Why? Uh huh. Any idea? Anybody idea? Uh huh. Sergio, I don't know. Uh, can, can you repeat the question? The question for me is okay. Let's double check because the comparison with adjective is only as as, but here with nouns we have as much as. Why is that? Anybody has an idea? I don't know, but it's for quantity. Aha, uh -huh, very good. Aha, uh -huh. yes, it's for quantity. Yes, for example, it's let for, me, for uh -huh. a, but it's a uncountable. Uh -huh. right? Exactly. It's not countable, it's uncountable, like uh -huh. as much as much help, for example. As uh -huh. much help 
Exactly. So that will depend, guys, of the noun that you use. For example, and work. The first, uh -huh. And the first case are adjectives and the second uh -huh. is noun. Very good. Exactly. Ernestina, right? Yes. Okay. Very good, girl. Yes, that's right. So, guys, depends on the word that you're using. If it's countable now, much, right? If it's uncountable, many. You know that, right? Okay. Excellent. Are you with me? It's easy peasy quizzy, right? Sure. Okay. Yes. Go ahead, Marito. I, th I think that if it's count countable, mm -hmm. you can count it is uh, many. And much if, if you can't count. Exactly. You're right about that. That's what we have said. Mm -hmm. That's right. You're right about that. So it depends on what exactly you, the word or the noun that you use, you will be able to use much or many. Okay. So you need to be careful on that as well. All right. Okay, guys. Who? Let's participate. I have some uh, pictures for you. Yay, yeah. So it's time for us to speak more than we have speak so far, okay? So let me share right now with you. But let me check if I can send it to the WhatsApp, okay? So everybody has it. And I can see you guys because I miss to see you. Somebody's speaking like, who's that guy? Uh, some of you, I have your, I know your voice for sure. But some of you, I don't. So let me listen, let me check right now. Do, 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 do. Oh, you will love the pictures. I guarantee you. Mm -hmm. Let me see. Just as long as you receive it, let me know, okay? Bear with me for a moment. Do, 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 do. Okay, guys, did you receive it? Yep. Yeah, got it. Yeah, very good. Okay, cool. Before we use the the comparison with adjectives in comparison with nouns, let's practice the pronunciation of the professions, okay? Because for me, it's really important. All righty. Hey guys, take a look at this. Why I, why I selected this one? Because this is really important, guys. If you're going to make a comparison uh, in writing, for example, this is more in writing than in speaking, uh, you need to make sure that if you put a profession, always, and always will be with capital letter all the time. Mm -hmm. That's why I chosen that. Because if you see, we have a lot of uh, professions and if you check, all of them are with capital letters. All of them. Mm -hmm. Accountant, pilot, uh, astronomer, etc. All of them. So it doesn't matter if you put it at the beginning of the sentence or in the middle. Since it's a proper name, you got to put it in a capital letter, please. Mm -hmm. all the time that's why i select that okay guys so let's practice <laughs> i'm going to remember mr hernandez repeat after me accountant accountant, accountant. architect architect astronomer astronomer outer outer baker baker butcher butcher not bachelor butcher Butcher. Butcher. Very Butcher. good. <laughs> Carpenter. Carpenter. Dentist. 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 Doctor. Doctor. Farmer. 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 Uh, this is really easy. Firefighter. 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 Very Fire. good. Judge. 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 No Joshua, okay? You know John. Judge. 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 I'm sorry. Uh, I know, uh, uh, Mr. Hernandez. That's why I make this emphasis. Okay. <laughs> Mechanic. 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 Nurse. 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 Pilot. 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 Okay. This one. Plumber. Plumber. Police officer. Police officer. officer. Psychiatrist. 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 No psychiatrist, okay? Psychiatrist. Psychiatrist. Surgeon. Surgeon. And the most lovely profession, teacher. Teacher. Hey, <laughs> hey, be careful. Uh, one thing is t-shirt, like the one that Marito is wearing. And the other one is the profession, t-shirt, okay? T-shirt, t-shirt, you see? See the difference? T-shirt is what Marito is wearing. T-shirt is depression. 
Okay, so be careful with the pronunciation, please. Maybe you you will tell me a blouse, right, instead of a profession. Okay, teacher. Uh, uh, what, what, Alex? Oh, uh, teacher, it's fine. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Mm -hmm. Shame of you, Mr. Alex. <laughs> All right. Okay, now, guys, you, I will leave you alone, and please, I want you to everybody, but everybody, no, that's some of you, right? Everybody pronounce again those professions for me, please. Okay, everybody together. And one, two, and three. Go ahead. Accountant. Accountant. No, 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 no. Again, from the beginning. I, 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 don't, I don't hear you, Kalena. Your microphone is off. All right. All right. One, two, three. Go ahead, guys. Accountant. Accountant. Architect, Mechanic, mechanic, nurse, 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 comparisons and we're talking about comparisons as an adjective comparison as a noun um i want you guys to pick two professions from the list that you have there i don't care which one it is and i want you guys to use what we have seen so far okay and first of all I, we're going to I, I'm, I'm going to ask you to give me an example each of you yes. using comparison with adjectives you can pick Anything, any profession. Who is starting? Thank you so much, Irina. Go ahead. No, teacher, todavía no. What? No. Don't worry, Kike. Take your time. Okay, which one, which two you're going to pick? Doesn't matter if you if you repeat the professions, okay? That's a, that's okay for me. Well, I uh, choose doctor and farmer. Okay, doctor and farmer. Go ahead. Yes. Um, as an adjective. As an adjective. Uh -huh. Being a doctor mm -hmm. is more difficult than being a farmer. Very good. That's a good one. Excellent. Now, next one. Stanley, what about you? Stanley. I think it's Stanley. He moved back to his okay, room, Okay, right? okay. Okay, um, go ahead. <laughs> being, being a butcher uh -huh. is... Okay, okay. Um, here I have a, I have a doubt. Um, doubt. Um, to to the comparative of funny is funnier or more funny. What? Well, well, I didn't understand your question. Can you repeat it? Okay, okay. It's, it is funny, but the comparative is funnier. No. Yes, exactly. Funnier. With the ENR song at the end, funnier. Mm -hmm. Great, great. Then um, it will be being a butcher is funnier than being a baker. Uh huh. Very good. That's a good one. Excellent. Alex, what about you? What do you have for us? Yeah. The, for, for example, the idea the con, being an accountant is, is more boring than being an astronomer. Oh my God. Okay, Hernandez, ref refuse that sentence, please. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> please, please, defend yourself. Oh, it could be, it could be a stressful, right? <laughs> Aha, <laughs> you change it. Aha. <laughs> All right, Mr. Hernandez, please defend yourself. <laughs> okay. Uh, being a content, it's more funny than. It's more funny or it's funnier? It's funnier than being an a, a author. Okay, yes, very good, excellent. Now, Kalena, now's your turn. Go ahead. I use fun, uh, funny also. So I have a, 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 doubt. a doubt. A doubt. 
because I put it, it is more fun being a pilot than a nurse. No, you can that say it's funnier. Okay or no, it's you funnier. Know, it's funnier. So it is more funnier? No, it's funnier. If you use funnier, Just you funnier. use more. More, okay. Uh -huh. it, is, it is funnier being a pilot than a nurse. Very good. That's okay. nice. Excellent. Okay. Paquito. Okay. Now, let me have an example, please. Paquito. Okay. Okay. I can say that being a psychiatrist mm -hmm. is so important as being a dentist. Very good. Excellent. That's nice. Very good. Okay. Me, teacher. Thank you. Kike. Yes, Kike. Go ahead. Being a police officer is more dangerous than mechanic. Very good. People, no, being a police officer, right? Never oh, forget being, okay. the, the article, right? Ah, mm -hmm. Very good. Very okay. good. Yeah, you're right about that, Kike. Excellent job. Very good. Who else? Uh, Sergio, what about you? Hopefully, Sergio is working right now, his internet. Or no? I don't think so, right? Okay. Luis, what about you? What you have for us? Luis, my yes. friend Luis, okay, we're listening to you. Uh, another Nick. sentence with, compar with comparison of professions. Yes, you can pick anything that we have uh, sent it to you to the WhatsApp, any profession. All right. Uh, give me a second. No. I'm just looking for the picture and the group. Ah, you see, he was not in class. Ah, astronomer, ah. carpenter. All ah, right. Ha, ha. Uh, being a firefighter is more dangerous than being a baker. Yes, you're right about that. Excellent. Thanks. Ernest, Ernest, thank you. Ernestina, what about you? What do you have for us? Being a nurse is a less interesting than being uh, a dentist. Are you agree with Ernestina? No. <laughs> no, you answer yourself. <laughs> no, that, that's good. Yeah, no, that, that's your point of view, which is perfectly fine. Okay, don't worry. Don't worry about it. That's okay. Thank you, Ernestina. Teacher, yes, Luisito. Uh, what, what adjectives can we change adding the ER to, to change them into comparative and which ones we cannot do that to change it. We, we have to add the word more. Ah, that's a good one. I, I was about I was about to ask you that. Marito, Marito wants to help. Go ahead, Marito. <laughs> I, I think it's the lane of the the lane of the adjective. For mm -hmm. example, intelligent is a it has a lot of uh uh, what is this? Uh, syllabus? Yeah, no, three no. syllables. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Three or more. Mm -hmm. And for example, uh, small, only 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 one. Eh? Small, only yeah. One vowel, only one vowel, so it's no, smaller. No one vowel, no. One syllable. Mm -hmm. it's, yeah, it's very short. You know? That's yes. why we use the, the ER at the end. Uh -huh. But in, in intelligent is a long one, so mm -hmm. we say more intelligent. Exactly. In, in, in the case of smart, which is the same of intelligent, we say smarter. You see, you see teacher Marito? You see, he's my right hand. Did he answer you the question, Luis? Yes, I did. And what about, uh, you talked about the adjective funny. Funny, it's a word, a two syllable word, okay? Uh-huh, so, uh, uh -huh. that is out of the box. Is it out of the box? Mm -hmm. Why? Uh, but, but the adjective is fun. Uh huh. Am I right? Yes. So fun is only one one fun. Uh -huh. F U N. So fun fun funnier. Miss. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's funnier. Yeah, funnier. Mm -hmm. What about the adjective boring? What is more boring or what is boringer? <laughs> more boring. All right. Thanks. Are you sure? Give me an example, <laughs> Luis. Uh, listening to opera is more boring than listening to heavy metal. 
Ay, very good. This one is good. Mm -hmm. Ay, why did you say that? No, no, no. I, I, I love opera. Oh, really? Yes, I do. Okay, I like classic music, but don't, I don't like opera. I prefer listening to Mozart or uh -huh. Vivaldi. Aha, uh -huh. very good. Oh, yeah. Okay, guys, thank you, Luisito. So basically, depends on what it, what you can choose more or ear. That would be also, guy. Oh, Luisito, depends on what is the termination of the adjective, because most of the time the 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 adjective bore ends in an e, right? It's a vowel. Is that right? And fun ends it in in a um, consonant. So there are a, a lot of rules. That you need to follow. I don't know if you remember those. Did you ready? Uh, did you check all the um, all the rules about that, guys, or no? Did they touch you that already, or no? Rules about adjective. Oh. Rules about comparisons. How we the, ah. how we like transforms the comparisons. I don't know. Have you have they taught about you already, or no? Yeah, have they give you that yeah. information? Long time ago. Long time, yeah. ago. Uh -huh. Long time ago. So I think we see to you put a point really important. We would need to make a refresh about that, right? Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yes, because I want you guys to like make a refresh about which one you put more than and which one you put like um, R or ER at the end, right? Because those are rules. Uh, there are many rules. So we cannot see in like everything here because we're going to be one hour class again. Can you imagine? <laughs> so that's right. I trying to like answer a little bit, uh, Luisito. And of course with teacher Marito right hand help, of course you can imagine, right? That was really a fun class. But I will try to see guys if we can, um, what else? We can take like maybe this class this week or next week one time to clarify that, okay? and give you okay. some information or if not what we can do is to search for more information about it and send it to you because you will need to make a, rem a reminder in order for you to try to use the adjectives in the right way okay yeah okay yeah everybody's like yeah mm. uh, no i think it's better if you send the information because <laughs> okay. the truth is that uh, what we need to do here is to speak yeah uh -huh. what, exactly what, I was thinking in a comparison with names because I, I usually use the other one with mm -hmm. adjectives, but uh, can I say mine because I didn't say it? Yeah, of course. <laughs> I know that you okay. want to participate. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, engineers usually have better salaries than uh, plumbers. Oh my goodness, look at him. Isn't he so selfish? <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> and Stanley said no comment. <laughs> no, that's good. Exactly. And guys, this is something that you mentioned, but it is really important because, uh, for example, when we're talking about comparison with nouns, we can, we can use another verb, not only is. Okay. So tomorrow, guys, you already practice right now the adjectives. Tomorrow we will continue. What, I'm, what I will ask you in your homework will be, think about one example of comparison with now, okay? This is the first thing that I'm gonna ask you tomorrow. And then we will continue with comparison with verbs and comparison with participles, all right? Okay, okay guys, okay. all righty. Okay. I got to, I have to say bye-bye because I need to go with the other group. Okay. <laughs> okay. Hugs. Thank, Thank you. Bye-bye. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night.